a 24 year old law student has been experiencing frequent headache over the over the course of last several months for which he has been taking increasing doses of the aspirin after a long night of studies he take a particularly large dose of aspirin he later becomes disoriented confused and then experience a seizure he is brought to the emergency department by his roommate where his serum salicylate level is 130 mm uh, milligram per deciliter which of the following is an appropriate treatment for this patient uh, he was taking aspirin and now this time he took uh, a lot of aspirin high dose aspirin so this patient is now suffering from aspirin overdose so aspirin is a medication which is used uh, for uh, as an anti-inflammatory or anti-aggregant in various cases okay so it is the chemical formula or the chemical name of aspirin is salicylic acid it's an acid this means that in the student blood, the acidic level is increased. There are many acid particles, salicylic acid. Okay. Now we have to remove this out of the body. So we have to increase the elimination or excretion of the acid into urine. So there is a mechanism we already studied and I already discussed in one of the video. That is ion trapping mechanism. Ion trapping mechanism ion trapping okay so in this mechanism or in this procedure what we do if there is enough acidic molecule into the blood we make the urine basic and if basic is increased in the urine we make acidic so there is a fusion of these two molecules and that increases the elimination of the particle of the respect to molecule so in this case there is the acidic level is increases and the salicylic has a formula and end hydroxyl group okay this acidic so what do you do the basic substance which we add it into the urine okay which make the urine basic what do you do it deprotonate this proton now it become an ionized particle okay it become an ionized particle now this ionized particle is less likely reabsorbed if it is non-ionized it is highly there is a high chance of reabsorption back into the blood circulation but now it is reacted with a base which we add it into the urine okay which make the urine uh, more basic so it deprotonate the proton and make the salicylic acid a negatively charged particle now this charged particle cannot cross the uh, barrier easily okay so there is a very less chance of very less reabsorption so most of the salicylic acid appear into the urine so this is what the entropic mechanism so here the answer that is protamine protamine as i discuss this is used in overdose of heparin when there is overdose of the heparin okay and we use uh, protamine sulfate dose of heparin heparin is anti-coagulatory medication so what about glucagon glucagon uh, we use normally this uh, glucagon in case of uh, beta blocker toxicity okay then when there will be uh, beta blocker toxicity then we use glucagon so glucagon is beta blocker beta blocker toxicity okay when there will be a beta blocker enough beta blocker into the blood we use in order to reduce or eliminate this level, the level of beta blocker so it reduces the blood beta blocker and it is used as an antidote against of the beta blocker okay so what about the n-acetyl cysteine n-acetyl cysteine is used in the treatment of uh, uh, acetaminophen toxicity so it is used used in acetaminophen toxicity acetaminophen toxicity Acetaminophen toxicity. What about the bicarbonate? Yes, bicarbonate is a basic which used in case of overdose of aspirin. And vitamin K, vitamin K is used when there will be uh, overdose of heparin because heparin uh, it act on an enzyme known as uh, vitamin K reductase and it inhibit the 
conversion of oxidized form of the vitamin K into a reduced form which is important and essential uh, for the conversion or activation of the um, including factors so whenever there will be uh, warfarin our toxicity uh, toxicity or overdose of the warfarin we use vitamin k okay so protamine overdose of heparin so it is anti heparin or it is used antidote for the heparin it is used antidote for the beta blocker toxicity and acid acetin is used as antidote in the acetaminophen toxicity beta blocker is used whenever there will be high acidic uh, molecule into the blood to eliminate the acidic particle and acidic molecule we use beta blocker sorry bicarbonate so this is used in this case and vitamin k is used in the overdose of the warfarin thank you